<laughs> Welcome to another episode of My Point Three Garage. My name is Chris. I'm Mandy. And our shop dog Yeti is right below <laughs> here, which you don't see. But we just got two emails, not in a row, but within the last three weeks that have really got us spinning. So let's visit those. All right, so at this point, um, we got, well, let's just kind of go through the history here. So my last video on the new 2021 Bronco was in March. Um, we didn't hear anything. There was like almost no communication. So there wasn't a lot to post until like, uh, I don't know, like late June, something like that. And I honestly, honestly, we were first day reservation. Um, within the first 15 to 20 minutes after they opened the reservation portal, we had three computers going. We have a video from last year that told you all this, but we have three. We had three computers going. Everybody on there, tip, top, 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 typing, <laughs> trying to reload the website. It crashed, and we thought maybe we can get on one of our phones. Maybe we can get on maybe one of the tablets. And so we tried for 15 to 20 minutes, and we finally got one to pop up, and we put a reservation in. So within the first 20 minutes, we got a reservation on day one. So we were. Without a doubt, we got our email saying that they would be starting production in May, that we would have maybe a late May, early June build date. Um, so we were like, we got it for summer, probably gonna have right. it by late June, uh, have it for the kids for like 30, 45 days before they go off to school, and we have to kind of slow down our lives a little bit. Uh, but then it never happened, and it never happened, and it never happened to call my dealer, nothing, you'll get an email. Um, finally in late June, we, at that point we were at, by late June, we were like, did we really want it? <laughs> yeah. So do we want to buy a 2021 model Bronco, the most expensive Bronco that they make? Like we, I don't think there's anybody that has a Bronco that would be more expensive than this one, which makes me like choke because I'm not used to buying cars like that. Well, so late in the year, right before it's 2022. Right. So we're spending all this money on this Bronco and at this point we're not even going to use it for the summer we're thinking because it's going to take longer than 30 45 days to produce these things but then we got the email and the email said well here let me show you let me show you what the email says okay it says uh, first edition Broncos are exclusive to 2021 so they have to build them in this model year right so they're basically forced to build them and I know they've had top issues and other things um, but the production runs from June to the beginning of December 2021. So it was already June at that point, almost July, um, and we, we had heard nothing. And we were a first 20 minute reservation in the first 3,500 reservations, um, and still nothing. So I don't know how they're prioritized, and I talked about that in my last video, and they said they're supposed to be by a reservation number. I just don't believe that anymore. Uh, but then we got this, and it says that it could be from June until December the 1st? No, December 2021. So it could be December 31st, 2021. And at that point, I mean, even now, 2022s for a lot of manufacturers are already, already coming. being produced and being shipped to customers in some cases. So we are already into another model year, but Ford is going to push this model year forward, uh, which is cool if we get our Bronco in, you know, whatever date in the fall. Um, it's going to be the uh, 2021 until early next year and then all the 2022s will be out and then that thing will be a year old even though it's only four months old so that was our biggest concern we were just about to cancel our order we got this email and it's like a gut punch because we want this bronco so bad and when we finally decide that our we had pushed it too far and we don't think that we're going to get the bang for our buck that we want and that the depreciation on a really late 2021 is going to be excruciating within three months just because the new 2022 is going to come out and the pricing will probably be cheaper i mean let's not let's not kid ourselves it may be cheaper so um so that took us back a little bit and so we started to reassess are we really going to cancel this let's give it just a little bit longer and uh we'll see what happens because if it's going to be december there's no way i'm not in um, so just about the end of well not too not too long from not too long ago we got our second email and it said that we're scheduled for production on August the 16th the week of August week of the 16th. 16th so at that point August the 16th is 
exactly the date that the kids go back to school. That week is, so that is literally the start of fall for us. And kids are in school, no more week weekday trips. One going to college. Yeah, one going to college, <laughs> so she's gone. Right, so she's she's gone, so now we have three. And, or three, me and Mandy and-, and <laughs> Bright and our little yeah, one. Yeah, Bright and our little one. Um, so, I don't know, it's, it's not as important now as it was two months ago. August 16th is the date they set, but we all know that that could be a month from then that they start production. Um, and I know many other industries are in that exact same boat. It's not just Ford, I'm not mad at Ford. It has nothing to do with that. I just wish they would make this a 2022 model starting in August. That way, the reality is that's when most cars are being produced for 2022. And uh, that would make it less depreciation on our part because it would still be a current model year next summer when we start driving it really in the summer at the top off and, and having a good time. Uh, but they're not going to do that because they want the first edition to be a 2021, which is technically a first run of the Broncos. I think it's unfair. I don't think it's reasonable. Uh, that's just my little soapbox crying fit right there. So, um, so we're pinched. We're like right in the middle there. Are we on? Are we off? Are we on? Are we off? And like last night was finally the good long discussion. And we decided that if they stick with the August 16th build date, we're assuming we're going to get it by maybe the beginning of September. And that means that we can have it for the fall foliage runs and stuff like that, which would be Beautiful really, yeah, oh, they're, they're amazing here, especially in a vehicle that doesn't have a top. So um, they're still semi-warm days and um, it would just be unbelievably epic. And that, that might save it for us. And they did give us a timeline, like you can click on it and it tells you, you know, production and then it gives you the next level where it's being built and then it's being shipped and you know so right. we can follow it a little bit but it's just you know so we'll see <laughs> we'll so see if this, it moves <laughs> yeah this video is a to be continued but when we got the first email that said that they were going to build in may and we had a first 20 minute reservation on day one and then now we're talking about being built in august the middle of august i just a i'm a little bit tweaked on that but b i don't know if i trust that date so yeah. So we'll see coming up whether or not we decide to take this vehicle. <laughs> Our money is already important to us, and uh, we don't ever invest in brand new vehicles. Like never invest in brand new vehicles. And I think I told, <laughs> I think I I preached to Mandy after the 2000 Blazer incident, which we won't go into right now. <laughs> we won't go into the 2000 Blazer incident. I was incident. very young. But since 2000, <laughs> we have not bought a brand new vehicle because of that Blazer. And um, now all of a sudden we're older and wiser and more stupid and has decided that this is, this is what we want to do. Well, it runs. Well, your Blazer ran. No, I'm talking about the new purchase of a new Bronco. It runs. I mean, our other ones. Yeah, I like to buy old, but <laughs> under ten thousand. <laughs> I know. Barely over ten thousand. So <laughs> not running. It's the like two together are less right than now. half of what this new Bronco is. So right. it's like, come on, man. And these things, this is worth, this is worth five times, six times, seven times the day in its current condition than the amount I paid for it. Right. And this is easily worth, probably about the same, five yeah. to seven times Fine. more than I paid for it. So. Um, and we will get back to this. My uh, little baby girl. Little baby girl. And that's a wrap from Mile Point Through Garage. We will go into more on this Bronco as we go. And then at that point, we'll make a decision at the last minute whether or not we're going to take it. But right now, we're saying that as long as Ford sticks to its last email, then we'll stick to our commitment. And that's kind of where we're at. Barring some tragedy, that's kind of where we're at. So... We have a lot of other content relating to this Bronco coming in too because that spurred a whole lot of other things. That decision then now is a cascading waterfall of what ifs on this Bronco and uh, we are like blowing up and super excited. So we will talk to you soon and thank you very much for subscribing. Hit that subscriber little button over there in your bottom right hand corner uh, and be a part of our family. Also visit our website mile3garage.com. We're going to be posting more content there. We took a little bit of a break during the summer. It's our last summer with our 18-year-old girl before she goes off to college. Mm. And uh, 
So it was important to us to do that, but now we're back on the projects. We're gonna move her in to her dorm here pretty soon, and then it's just flat out uh, all the way uh, as, as fast as we can go to get at least this guy done right here. We'll see you soon.